welcome to my channel this is Lupita and today I'm gonna be doing my debt snowball update this will be number three so excited and I will also be um announcing the winner for the giveaway that I had started on my last uh, debt snowball so uh, good luck to the winner and I will be using my Erin Condred binder. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get my stickers um, that I had purchased. So I'm going to be using this washi tape. And I'm, I chose um, this one. It's like a little uh, black and white um, kitty, a moon. Just little different characters. Okay, so this is how I'm going to set up my page. These stickers are like basically um, paydays, but you can hardly see the letters, so I decided to use them. Um, on my snowball um, it is money that I'm gonna basically give I'm gonna I'm not gonna have it anymore so <sighs> yes so for those that are starting a snowball debt um, journey um, basically you're gonna start from your lowest to your highest um, debt and as for me, um, I'm going to start with Target. I was supposed to finish this Target last month, but I did have a lot of um, things I was supposed to pay. And my girl's, um, my daughter's birthday came up too. So I honestly uh, didn't pay as planned. Um, it, it, it is going to happen. You know, sometimes you're going to be able to reach your goal and complete your goal but sometimes it's just gonna be n not possible like it happened to me in july i was really short on money so i couldn't anyway um for target um no oh, hold on i forgot to put the things up here Again, the winner is going to take two gift cards, a $20 gift card from Best Buy, and the other gift card is going to be of your choice. So, good luck, and here we go. And our winner is Nancy Morales. Congratulations. Thank you girls for joining our giveaway. Thank you all for your support. And let's continue with our video. For Target, my balance is $90. And my APR I forgot my APR. Twenty-five. Twenty-five percent. So my minimum payment for Target is twenty-five dollars, but I'm gonna leave it blank because this is where my snowball uh, money left from my budget that I'm gonna use is gonna be put on. So I'm gonna leave this one, this minimum payment to the end. When I say my budget, I mean the budget that I am planning to use for the month. And um, I'm going to be using $500. So so here, I So my budget is 500. 
This is gonna go towards my depth and you'll see how I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna continue with um, Bank of America since that's my second lowest balance. So Bank of America and here my balance is a hundred eighty seven with forty cents. My APR is twenty five. My minimum payment is twenty five dollars. And then we're gonna go with um Walmart So here I owe 798 My APR is 25 as well And my minimum payment is 25 My next one is Costco. With a balance of 2,410, 28 cents, an APR of 30%, and my minimum payment is 75. And then we go to Sears. Here my balance is 3420 and 20 cents. My APR is 29%. Now I round my APRs. So I'm not going to put 24 point something or 25 point something. I just round it up. Um, my minimum payment is 120. And then I have my last one, which is Best Buy. And here my balance is 3000 seven hundred thirteen with six cents and my APR is 24 my minimum payment 116 So now I'm just going to do my total. I was so excited because I thought I was going to have uh, one less payment this month. But because I was unable to work extra, I I was unable to do the payment as planned but it's never too late I'm gonna be up to date this month so I'm gonna be okay so we're gonna do my total I'm gonna add up everything and I'll put my total here okay so my total is Ten thousand six hundred eighteen ninety eight cents ninety four actually with ninety four cents. So this is how much I owe on my snowball, and I'm gonna use five hundred towards it. So after the the way I do it, it's this is my budget, 500. So I'm gonna 
subtract my my minimum payments which is these except this one because this is where whatever the remainder is is going to go so i have 500 minus 50 which is these two minus 500 minus 50 minus 75 minus 120 and minus 116 so I have 139 139 so that means I'm gonna minus 90 because I'm gonna close that for sure now this is for sure guys so it's going to be minus 90. And then here, I still have $49 remaining from my 500. So I'm going to give extra. $49 here. Okay, so briefly explanation. Hopefully I didn't confuse you guys. So what I did is I listed all my balance, all my minimum payments. This is the budget I'm going to use, which is $500 towards this. So when I added my minimum payments, it came to be 361 So it leaves me with 139 to use towards my no snowball. So... Uh, from this 139 I'm gonna be paying off target which is $90 and I still had a balance of 49 so I brought it down to my next um, debt which is Bank of America so um, on top of the minimum which is 25 I'm gonna give an extra I'm gonna give an extra $49 and this is it so next month I would be um, closer to my debt freight journey so this is all now I'm gonna be leaving my washi link down below and thank you all for watching for those of you that are new to uh, the snowball um, debt or that debt snowball or the snowball method however you guys want to call it um it's a very great tool to finish your debt i started it three months ago and even though the the change has been very small um at least i see that my debt is going um down i'm not spending more than i'm that i have to and it's actually helping me so uh, if you guys want to go ahead and start, um, great idea, great choice. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys for another Depth Snowball till next month. Bye-bye!